This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you can stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Please to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. Sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. Hey guys, this is Red again, and we are back on our next walkthrough for Ratchet and Clank HD. Damn. There is a lot of stuff to do in these uh, games. That's why I'm doing this Let's Play walkthrough. Whatever you want to call it. I called it a Let's Play to see how that title goes along and how people respond to it. Um, let's Play basically means that you do commentary with I your walkthrough. And, let's, and a walkthrough is just... That's a real I, I guess I never knew this before, but like... Walkthroughs just have no commentary at all, usually. Unless it says with commentary. So you're going to want to buy the new gun that you're able to buy. It's Pyrocider. Pyrocider. If you can if you have enough money for it. Which I'll get that I'll get the gun in a little later. Right now I just gotta save up my money for it, so you need twenty five hundred bolts for it. You know how ratchet loves bolts. You guys, you can take these guys out with your bomb glove, or you can do whatever you want with them. If you can buy, if you can buy the other weapon right away, it's, it's this point in the game, it's like not too hard to kill any of these enemies. So it's not, it's not that hard to get. To not, you don't need it right away. But yeah, if you haven't seen my walkthrough, you can watch that. Um, what I'm probably gonna do is after this, I, since I am able to, I'm probably gonna make just a walkthrough part on these games without commentary. So you have the choice between if you wanna watch with commentary or without it. So I'm not trying to upload 50 million videos, it's just that some people don't like commentary at all and they actually like it when I. When I upload stuff that doesn't have commentary, because you're like, oh yay, no commentary, finally. And I will be doing a review on this game. It's I don't know. I just love it so much. I probably if I would give it a rating, I'm probably gonna give it too high of what most people would give it. And yeah, you basically you're just gonna right now you're just gonna kill all the enemies. Get all the boxes. You shouldn't get hurt. It's not too hard to not get hurt. You're not that hard of enemies right now. These are the easy enemies. 
The only times I really ever die is if I fall off of a cliff or if like, I accidentally miss a jump because sometimes the game is not quite dead on and awesome. Well, he just ran away. <laughs> he ran away from me. Okay, let's get And if you haven't seen, I, I do do live videos, which the moment, I don't know if in the future I'm going to pay the for XSplit, because then you can, I can, you guys can watch HD live stream videos. Like, it is HD when I'm playing and stuff, but the only, the max that's going to show up on YouTube or XSplit is going to be 360p, which is kind of stupid to me. But you gotta pay to do more, that is just, I don't know. And I have to use XSplit because I tried just using my HD PBR, it doesn't show up right with the wire cast. So you're just going to keep going through here and collecting bolts. And once you have enough, you can go back and, like right now, we're going to go back here and get the pyro sitter. Power cider, 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 cider. I have no clue. What I'm but basically, it's like a flamethrower, if you want to call it that. You call it a flamethrower. <laughs> and collect any extra bolts because you're gonna want to keep saving them up for that one million bolts trophy. We're gonna keep going here. We're gonna go on the platform. We're gonna get up. Up, 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 up. And Hi there, we're gonna buy this then. And we got the pyro sitter. Cider sitter. You're gonna go down. You guys actually don't die if you just jump down. You don't need to sit on the thing like that and wait for it. The thing that about this game that I really like is that I don't have to sit and record it. If I record off my PS2, it automatically records it on a small, it, like it looks smaller, like the Xenosaga when I did that one. It looks smaller for some reason. Even though I can make it play, I can play it in a higher than what that was. But for some reason you can't adjust the PS2 then on it all for if you use an HDPR. Just gonna wanna keep going down through here. Like, pretty much, this is pretty easy so far. It's the gold bolts, which you're probably gonna wanna watch the rest of the guide, because that's where it gets a little tricky. Like, you don't, not everyone's gonna know where the gold bolts are. I've played the game before, so I know some of them. And I don't remember everything, but I look around the environments and you can see where, like, a little spot you can, like, throw a bomb and you can get, you can, like, open it up. And there's three bolts in this map. You can only get. I think there's three gold bolts. Okay. Oh, let me. Okay. okay, there's two bolts, I think. Yeah, two bolts for now. And in the first map that you ever had, there's there's two bolt, there's three bolts all together, but you come back to the last one. Uh, these are like what? These are supposed to be the boss? Yeah, these guys aren't going to stop. And we're gonna get the rest of these bolts. Yeah, you can take the pirate sitter and take these guys out for me. And once you do, you get you get to talk with this guy. Are you mercenaries, torturers, assassins? Okay, I'm gonna stop my commentary and start it again. Then take 
my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? <laughs> you said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, as planetary chairman, I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. And we're yeah, back to some gameplay. And I gotta turn off my volume. There we go. Yeah, we learned about Infobot. We just got one from this old dude. And we're gonna get more bolts. And then we're gonna cross the blue bridge. Yeah, forget the boats, the boats, all the boats, boats, boats. Go under the ship. Boats. Yeah, everyone loves bolts. That's your money. Can you imagine actually paying in bolts? That would be fun. Be. We run out of money, so we make bolts. Make lots of bolts. <laughs> And I just saw on um, a forum that a Nintendo fanboy was saying, they called it, I don't know, I forget what they said about, like, what they called it. They called Ratchet and Clank something else, and it really offended me because I love Ratchet and Clank. What does Nintendo have that um, Sony doesn't do better? So, tell me that. You have an infinite amount of Mario games, that's pretty much it. That, Zelda, you just make the same games over and over. Have terrible third party, like... They don't have good third parties support. And right here, I thought water kills you. You can actually walk in this water. You can walk on either side. I thought you, it kills you when you walk in water. Like, that's what I'm used to in games. I haven't played this game for a while, so I did not know. And I cut out, I missed the jump on one of these and had to go back down. I cut it out to make time a little better. Time consuming on the videos. See, I almost missed it there. And I barely got it there. And there's a dude in here. There's little, there's these little critters. Kill them with your ratchet pretty easily. You want to try to conserve your bullets, but they usually give you a lot of this gadget um, boxes that give you a lot of bolts, so you usually don't have to worry too much. And you can't explode anything. So, we're gonna go up. And we're gonna go up. Up, up, oops, up, up, slowly do it, slowly do it, don't, don't exhaust yourself, there you go. And here's your first gold bolt. It's the first gold bolt of this level, well, depending on where you go. If you follow my guide, you'll get it from here. First gold bolt. And some gold bolts I don't show you right away, but we come back, you come back to some levels later, so... This level, I think you get all your gold bolts, I don't remember, but you'll know when you watch the walkthrough, you watch a later walkthrough, like, you'll get all your gold bolts and you get your trophy for that then, whenever you, if you're following this, and you're following all the other guides. And I, I don't understand, like, are these things supposed to hurt you? Because, like, they're not doing a very good job of trying to hurt you, the sh little shredder spinner things. They don't move or anything, so I don't, I don't understand why they're there. They're trying to hurt you, but they don't do a good job of it. And we're gonna wait for this thing to pop up, and we're gonna go across. We got about... 10 more minutes of... Walk through here. And 
know I'm being very quiet, but there's literally nothing I can really- There's nothing really you need to say about this. It's pretty explanatory as long as you're like- And then this doesn't do anything. I don't know why it goes up. Why does this go up? I have no clue. And you don't die in the water. Yay! Water doesn't kill you. Unlike some games. <laughs> but yeah. This doesn't give you anything either. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> I got pissed off and I was like, what the heck? Why is it even there? Why did the developers put this in the game? Oh, oh, they made the water a little more difficult. And then there's bolts behind here that you can collect. Don't worry, we'll get that second gold uh, bolt soon. One thing that does tick me off is like, I have my symbol in like the little left hand corner or right hand corner or top of the screen or something. And people are like, oh my gosh, the cutscenes are- Most of the people that are complaining about that just want to use my cutscenes in their own videos. So that's the ones that get pissed off about it. I guarantee it. I already know that you're gonna like try to use my video in another video. Well, that prevents you from doing it, or it gives me credit anyways. Here's the plumber. Plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said uh, plumber yeah, crack. Plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't <laughs> okay, you be able to I'll stop commentary and start again and let you watch transports. this guy. Newsflash: Giant robots attacking. The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's M scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. To enter look around mode, press and hold the L1 button. Hey guys, um, here we are again. We are going soon we're going to after I'm done beating this thing up okay here we go <laughs> we're gonna jump down this slide and you want to try to get you should be able to get all the bolts here it's a few of them and you should get all of them just by going down the slide but there is one game I would like to talk to you about it's called quest for booty ratchet and clank future quest for booty it's not, it's not him trying to get tail or anything, so, it, yeah, it's a really good game, you should try it out, it's a really fun downloadable title, if you buy Ratchet and Clank All for One at Target, most of them had a copy of the game in there, I paid 15 for it when it first, around when it first came out to the US, it's a really fun game, so just letting you know, that's a fun game too.
and you can get it pretty cheap now. I think it's ten or five dollars. It's a really fun game. All the future games I liked except Kraken Time, which maybe in the future I'll do a walkthrough on Kraken crack, Time when I'd have to start over on the game. It's a, I think it's a very long game. This game's pretty long too, but the levels are eh, generally short, but they get longer as the game as you get it progressed through the game. And yeah, you just want to go underwater at square dive and exit to come back up. Pretty good. And then you just want to spin around and go through. You don't have to do all this extra stuff, but doing it gives you the gold bolts, which you're trying to get because you want that platinum trophy. I know I do. <laughs> Here we go. And then the little puddles of water, the little small puddles. There are some bolts, and then there's the boxes of bolts. The game is a big bunch of bolts. Wow, it's like everything is bolts. gonna swim through a tunnel here. We'll get through the tunnel, 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 tunnel. We're gonna go through the tunnel, and there's nothing at the bottom just to let you know. It's just a big giant X. I don't know why they put these giant X's everywhere. And you're gonna wanna go to the back, because that's where the boxes are. For the bolts. And we're soon, don't worry, we're soon getting to the gold bolts. The gold bolt. The one that's left, anyways. And there's nothing at the bottom of this pool either. <laughs> I checked it out just to see if there was anything. I thought there might be. There's nothing. It's just a giant X. And there's some enemies down here. They're really easy to kill, except, uh, I do. Very good job, and... The gold bolt, okay, after you're done getting the little stuff, okay. Gold bolt's back there, you can see how the wall is a little different. At first I thought it was the mush- I thought there was something to do with the mushroom, I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I, don't, I have no clue why I was blowing up mushrooms. He doesn't like blowing up mushrooms, man. You can see the wall right there. Not the mushroom. Stop shooting the mushrooms. Okay. Right here. This wall, you can bust it with your bomb glove. Hopefully you have enough ammo. There you go. You got the second gold bolt. And we are good to go there. Okay. I'm going to let you watch the rest of the walkthrough without me talking. And check out the next part of the walkthrough. And you'll be good to go. See you guys.